the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love. They love me and the fame. fame, 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 fame. What up everybody, Charles Macro here today back again, jumping back into subsistence. Alright guys, hope everybody's doing well. We jumping right back in where we left off. Oh, and there's a wolf. There's a wolf. Alright, cool, 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 cool. We got a lock box right here. You know I gotta survey the scene and make sure everything all green. Um, yes, we got a lock box, and luckily I made a lock pick. One of the last episodes, they oh, oh, ooh, we got a lot of ammo shotgun shells. Oh, we got them weapon parts. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, some seeds, some cotton seeds. That's a nice little, nice little haul right there. Nice little haul. Um, of course, I would always want some sinew. I mean, you can't beat getting a sinew, um, especially because the only way we can get it is either the moose or the cougar. But yes, that that sinew, not the only thing, but that was still a pretty good haul. I'm gonna definitely need some of that ammo, all of that ammo. And you know, ammo is at a premium. Oh, look, nice, nice, nice. Uh, we got some more nails. We got some old oh, bear nails. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. And guys, make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe as well, man. Hit me in that comment box. Any tips, any info, you know it's always appreciated. And share this out. It never hurts to share. Sharing is caring. All right. So yeah, this rain coming down, man. That's one of the things with subsistence. You're battling with the elements as well as battling with predators and you know trying to survive in that in that um vein as well you know and hunger thirst the weather will get you too because when it starts raining even once you get clothes you know you start with very little clothing uh, okay we close once it starts raining you know you got to worry about temperature you got to worry about temperature dropping in the evening anyway but that rain just just you know makes you even colder um because you know it's, it's like real life now, i ain't saying everything in this game but the way they do with trying to govern and keep us surviving is real but it's fun it's a little harder on you it's almost like the game on normal is already on hard like for real because the game really you know sometimes some food certain foods and things shouldn't it should fill you up more, you know. Uh, you don't get as much out of some things as you should. Oh, oh, this wolf, you want to play? Wolf, I'm trying not to. All right, come on then. Come on then. Ugh, get that. Get that. Ugh. Oh, he didn't go down. Oh, woo, that was close. That was close. Oh, and I'm bleeding. Oh, and I'm bleeding. Uh, 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 make sure ain't nobody around. Okay. We got a bandage. Woo, we got us a bandage. And I need to make sure I got more uh, medical items on me. But he cooled. Like, that's the first time I've made it three swipes. Usually, if the wolf hits you twice, uh, you done. I don't know if that has to do with my protection going up because of the clothing I'm wearing. And, oh, you know what? I think it got to do with food. When you eat food. Ooh, one, two. Ooh, three boxes. Ooh, three crates right here. All in the vicinity. But, yeah, when you eat certain foods, um, you get, like, a boost. Well, I don't know if it's when you eat enough or if it's just certain ones, but you'll see down by your energy and your stamina, there'll be this like extra little red line. And I believe that's like a boost. So that's what's up. Okay, it's getting a little dark. Let's pull out our little glow stick. Again, the game makes it just harder on you in general. Yeah, you glow stick, like where you can barely still see off in the distance. Oh, Mo Crazy. This is a good run. This is a good run. And again, we got that uh, the lock the lock box. Those are premium, man. Those get you the best stuff. And it's still a roll of the dice every now and then. The stuff ain't great, but usually it's pretty decent. Okay, that's that's actually uh, I, I was gonna call it iron rock, uh, but this is like ore deposit central right here. It's always so many deposits. As you saw, it's about three right there. At minimum, it's usually three. I think two might have been the least, but I think I always seen three. I think I just say two. And I've seen five, six, even seven ore deposits on that rock. So, yeah, that's ore deposit island right there. That's what you're going to get, get, get it. Ah, oh, man, I would love to chop wood. But you see, you see the ice. We starting to freeze. You see the ice all around the perimeter. We are freezing. That means my stamina won't regenerate. We getting hungry. You see the energy going down. Oh, this is going to be close. Oh, this is going to be close. So, we going to make it. We gonna make it. Let's see what what is hitting for. Every time you see that little, Ugh, like we getting hurt. Let me see. Okay, 
make sure we can come through here. Even these trees, man, everything is so strategically positioned. Like, you put them trees right there knowing you got to come through and you might not have visuals on some of these animals, man. Yeah, see, getting in this water, being wet, it just makes it even worse. All right, 20. Okay, just went down one. Whew, man. Oh, two. So between the freezing and the hunger pains, man. Oh, we going down 17, yo. We might not make it. At least we right here by the base. But we might not make it. We we, we might find our book bag floating in the water. Okay, 16, 15. Because even when I get here, I still got to warm up. I got to eat. I got to, you know, try to try to make sure my HP stay up. Okay, okay, we back. Oh, no. And my joint is out. Okay, cool. We ignited it. Okay, we, oh, and I'm rushing. I forgot to, I forgot to refuel it. I forgot to refuel it. And this game is so savage. It just let me refuel it. It didn't even give a warning. Like, if you ignite, you don't have any fuel. They didn't give you a no fuel warning or nothing, man. You savage, subsistence. Savage. Cold games. Yeah, they like, shoot, if you're going to be dumb enough to light this thing with no fuel in it, okay, we're going we gonna to let you light for a second. We're going to give you a little bit of flame and that's it. All right, we're going to dump off some of this stuff right here. Cool. We did get some deposits. We building up. I'm going to really have to start running this more just so we can get those uh, shards that we need for building and for ammunition. Uh, that's what these different, different shards that you get from the deposits are for. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Good. Got the weapon parts, man. We stocking up. We stocking up. Got to make sure that my uh, steak don't burn. I do it all the time. I do it more than you'd imagine. If you play subsistence and you burn food, if it happens more often than, you know, if it happens to you too, let me know. Let me know down in the comments because, man, it happens way more than I want to admit. Way more than I want to admit. All right, come on, steak. I'm trying not to let you burn. Trying not to let you burn. Okay, let's top off this biofuel. I mean, we got a decent amount of biofuel built up. We got a decent amount of ash. All right, God, there we go. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. Gotta eat that thing right out the wood burner. Eat it right out the wood. The wood burner. That's that A1. That grade A. Prime. Yes. All right. I'm gonna go on and put this rotten uh, food right here. The spoiled. Because you still can use that for, um, you still can use the spoiled for fish bait. And I believe it's something else later on that we can craft for like one of the one of the little building pieces of equipment that we build. Something else you use spoiled or rotten, rotten meat for. Okay, the carrots are ready. Carrots are ready, but uh, we are not gonna pluck them just yet. All right, we'll get it. Look, I forgot that you gotta hold the button. Now they changed that too with one of the, one of the last updates. You used to just press F and it will pick them. But yeah, they changed it where you where you gotta hold it to pluck, just to add a little bit to it. All right, cool. So I wanted to add a little overhang so that when I do come out here and I go up these stairs when it's raining, you know, when weather is bad, there's at least some overhead pr protection, some overhead protection. So you know, I'm gonna put this here, do a little bit of a little bit of base building and expanding. Yeah, that way when I come up here, I can at least feel like I had the rain blocking me. And eventually I'm going to do a roof. Um, I'm also doing that because that's where we're going to put a solar panel. So once I get that solar panel built, we're going to put it right up on top of there. And again, we're going to build around and grow within the perimeter. All right, cool, 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 cool. Okay, let's see, let's see. So, yes, we are really, really growing and expanding. And guys, hit me in that comment box. Any tips and info is always appreciated. Let me know if you notice some things that I can do to grow and expand or, you know, some play mechanics that I might be missing here. Let me know. Okay, we're going to top off this fertilizer. See my tomatoes. They aren't ripening yet. Ooh. Ooh. I see a copper ore over there. Copper deposit. That's cool. You got to get that because, again, copper is like the rarer one to me. And let me know. Um, let me know if you found areas where there are more copper. Normally... When I'm going around, you just randomly see them. I always see more iron. I always see more potassium. That's one more that's eluding me. Um, but copper, I always see less. And, you know, you need copper. Copper is, is, is one of the ones that is fairly important as you start to uh, harvest and refine. But I do know that when I was over in Cougar Country, not to be confused with Cougar Town, Cougar Town. <laughs> yeah, when I was over in Cougar Country, 
Let's see if we can get this rabbit. I um I saw some deposits where it was like two and three copper. It would be more copper. Now I don't know if that was just coincidental, you know. That may have just been a coincidence. I'm not sure. But I was seeing a lot more copper, it seemed, regularly. So, yeah, let me know if you know if there are areas that have a lot more copper um, versus iron, potassium. You know, if it's, like, in certain regions that will produce more. Because um, I really think it said it should be a mine. Well, I know there is some type of cave. I don't know if you call it a, a quote-unquote mine or not. But I do know there is a cave. But I think that's where you get, like, crystals. That's something we need later for upgrades and things. Um, but I'm not sure if in those caves that they're actually ore deposits. But, uh, again, as dude develops the game, I know he's leaving it in certain states or leaving certain mechanics that helps the game to still have a level of grinding. And once more updates come through and more gameplay mechanics are developed, maybe some of these things will be scaled back. You know, maybe we will be able to have automated wood gathering or chopping like we get a drill, even if it's slow. Uh, but right now, um, you can't, you know, and, and you don't have it. So maybe there will be an area that has a lot to the mine or something, you know? Uh, I'm wondering. Okay, all right, cool. So we got our power storage. We're going to go on and plant that in a minute. Go on and place that. All right, cool. Let's eat. Yes, yes. Ooh, we eating good now. We eating good. We're going to have to get us a refrigerator soon, too. Definitely going to have to get that fridge soon. But yeah, um, just just like I said, wondering if they're gonna add more uh, mechanics or more elements that aren't in here. All right, cool, cool. So we got our power storage finished. So let's go on and put our second one. In. Yeah, we're gonna squeeze it right here. Kind of planned it out, mapped it out to get it right there in between. And I'm gonna put another mass one to the left, and I'm put another generator right there as well. Uh, okay, let's see. All right, we got nothing out there. Crazy to hunt. Okay. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. All right. Our plants are growing. We got uh, four more tomatoes that'll be on the way. And once I harvest those, I'll probably fill that with eight. And then I'm going to put a second one up here, either right beside it. Well, beside it one way or the other. We will have a second garden up here coming soon. Um, I also put a doorway right here. Like, that's the plan. All of this is going to be filled in be a doorway so i can come back down and close it off and then i plan to expand the floor right there to the floor level out one more so that there's protection this will be like the inner lab but then there'll be an extra wall around with protection that i can actually uh fire out of when hunters come or when there's any type of enemy so that is the plan that's the game plan right there um to expand this out and maybe even make a walkway you know one more platform with this I, I don't know i don't know but i'm at least wall this in the way it is right now continue that wall around and then um do the whole thing because it's a four by four so wall it in eight by eight styles and maybe expand one of them out where instead of this being a four by four it's like a four by six um to add more room and, and a little more space okay so i'm out doing some grinding and i was really just you know, doing some stuff off camera, but this is the second deer that I have come across. I just, oh, I need to wash my hands. I just took one out, got his antler, so that's going to help with the adhesive. I saw this one when I was hunting the other one, but I had to, you know, kind of go past him and let him go. So, oh, he led me to a chest, but I need to clean, clean myself up. Or I'm going to get poison. Oh, I'm near the base. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I can run right over there to the lake, clean my hands. Cool, he running towards home base. Even better. Oh, this working out. Oh, this working out. Now, I was trying to get more uh, wood, but that's okay. That's okay. We can catch up with this deer. Oh, he right by the water. He right by the water. This should be the last one. Got him. Got him. Nice. Then that spawns in. Nice. I think I'm going to go chop a tree real quick. 
and we gonna cook this deer with this wood right here. Oh, and a fiber. A fiber. And a scrap metal. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, that about scared me. Okay, he a level three. Nice. So he should have some good loot. Nice, nice, nice. Try to have it over by that wolf and that bear. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, sir. It's a wolf right there, a rabbit. I kind of want that rabbit, though. Let's see if we can get this rabbit. Oh, we got an arrow. Oh, well, we out of arrows, but that's all right. Very good run. Very good run. We got us two deer. You know what? This run been good. Let's go on and get this sandstone. We ain't leaving no stone unturned. No stone left unturned. Turn. <laughs> no stone left unturned. Oh, I'm about to run out of air, though. Turned away. Ooh, nup, 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 but he'd lead him. Oh, I thought I saw a crate down there. I was gonna get a crate too. Can we get a pearl? It's gonna get the kelp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we getting everything. We getting everything. Let us get this kelp too. Look like our tomatoes is ripe up there. I might have had a couple tomatoes left, but that is eight. No, excuse me, that's four, so that's gonna drop eight. But I found some seeds in that crate. Even though I would just replant all eight of those if I had to. So Gonna get these steaks cooking. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. My adhesive gonna be good. That's gonna be good money when I gotta craft my solar panel here. Gonna have plenty of adhesive. Got enough for the circuit boards. I, I think I can make one of these now. If I go ahead and harvest this sinew, craft a rope, I should have enough for three circuit boards. I think it only take like two pearls. The adhesive. Oh, I just need the workbench. I just need the workbench. But yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Once this power charges back up, the mass 120, drop 20 logs in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna be good money. We gonna be good money. And then for the daylight go down, I go chop a few more trees. Maybe see what's over there in that area. We won't venture out too much. Stay close to the base. See what we can get into. Yeah, we want another plant bed and we gotta get this workbench. Since I have a plant bed, I might go ahead and do the workbench. Once I pluck these tomatoes, lay out or uh, plant eight tomatoes, make that a full tomato garden. When I put the second one, I'll uh, put some variety. Get our protein up. Yeah, once I craft the second one. Oh, actually, since I got six right here, I can just harvest two seeds and then I'll keep the other tomatoes. So I should have at least six. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we coming along, we coming along. We is coming along, that's what I like. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right guys, so if you want to see more subsistence, if you're enjoying it, let me know down there with that like button. Hit like for me, hit that like button, subscribe, share, so others can check this out. And hit me in the comment box, guys. Any tips, any info, always appreciate it, man. I always just like to hear from you guys, all right? Charles Macro, subsistence. Thank you for stopping through, and I'm gonna holla at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. I do this for the love, they love money and the fame, 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 fame.